Hey everyone, I'm back with another Color MFA installation video. This time we're going to upgrade a VW Golf Mark V Red, often dying or dead, instrument cluster to Color MFA. Color MFA is compatible in your regular 2.0 petrol or diesel models, GDI and Golf R32. You do want to start off with a half or a no screen cluster as the comfort menu options in the full fizz clusters aren't able to be turned off. So source yourself a half screen cluster before you start this on a Golf Mark V if your car is already equipped with a full fizz LCD. So I've just quickly shown you all of the components that you get with the kit, minus all the tools, all the things come with the Color MFA PQ35 motherboard. So first start off by preparing Color MFA. To see that process, click on the link in the top right hand of the screen as I won't cover that here. All right, so time to open up the Golf Mark V instrument cluster. Remove the two T10 Torx screws in the rear of the housing. There are four clips that then need to be loosened up to split the front half of the housing away from the back half. Once off, your next task is to remove the needles. Be careful when removing the needles, you want to pull them out with a slight counterclockwise twist and never turn them clockwise. Next, remove the foils by simply twisting them off. Remove the fuel and coolant foils and then the full white frame also needs to come off. This example unit I'm using is a full face model, but the half screens are very similar to dismantle. Next is to remove the center screen. Unclip the ribbon connector, then remove the screen with its frame. After that, you need to split the front half of the PCB from the rear half. Now put the rear half away for now, we'll be using that a little bit later on. You need to deactivate the OEM LCD, so remove all of the small resistors surrounding all of these SMD little lights. Once it's off, it's time to thread all of the wiring through your prepared Color MFA motherboard. The motherboard mounts normally in the Golf Mark V with the LCD connectors at the bottom of the cluster. Once you're happy with the wiring, it's time to solder up the connections. Here are the wiring diagrams to get you going. Go ahead and solder the required wires up to the connector pins as per these diagrams and schematics. Now that all the required wires are soldered onto the board, you can then thread the CAN bus wires through one of the rear housing slots. Solder up the warning speaker and glue or tape it down and thread the USB port through and stick or tie it down to the rear of the housing. Carefully push the two halves of the internals together, being careful not to snag the color MFA wiring in the white connectors. Finalize the LCD placement and begin rebuilding the instrument cluster. Bring back the foils and reinstall the needles, remembering not to push down too hard and leave a gap between the needle base and foils. Once put together, you should have the USB on the rear and the CAN bus twisted pairs running out ready for their connectors. Before moving on, it's time to test Color MFA in the Golf Mark V housing and that's looking pretty good. Now that's looking good, you can finish off the CAN bus wiring. Get your connectors and make the necessary joins in order to connect the cluster CAN bus wires to the CAN bus wire loom. I'm using these small OEM type connectors, but any eight pin connector in one should do as well. Mm -hmm. 
Once the CAN bus hookup loom is all wired up, you should have something that looks like this, an upgraded instrument cluster, your boost tap wiring loom, and a CAN bus hookup loom. All right, we're getting to the good bit now and it's time to connect everything in the car. On a right-hand drive vehicle, the CAN bus gateway is behind the instrument cluster, so remove the original plug from it and connect the CAN bus hookup loom. The other end of the plug goes into the car's plug. Connect the CAN bus twisted pairs from the CAN bus hookup loom up to your upgraded Color MFA cluster. With everything hooked up, start your car and see Color MFA start up in your VW Golf Mark V. So you can see it looks right at home and is such a huge upgrade, not only in terms of looks, but also functionality. It's much better versus the OEM red half screen, especially if yours is started to fade or you know not work properly. To see a full review of Color MFA in the PQ35 platform, click the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments just post below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and see you next mod.